Hi guys, it is another dark, gloomy day here in the end times in the former paradise of uh, Garfield, Texas. Here on this gloomy Friday, September 28th, 2018. So I got to get back out there to the garden from hell uh, under the gloomy gray skies. But before I get into that, I am just going to do what I do every Friday, and that's bring you this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant about how this planet's heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour. I just finished part one where we went over to mangabay.com for a few examples of how we're so fucked. Uh, and now we're going to turn our attention to those old eco-Nazis at the Washington Post and the Center for Biological Diversity. I gotta put this little doomsday, my little doomer dog, over here to guard the We Are So Fuck sign. Okay, I usually start with the Center for Biological Diversity, so this week we're just gonna start instead with the uh, we're going to start with uh, Washington Post, I think, instead. Their energy and, and environment. Now, I've, I've mentioned most of these stories already, but they certainly bear repeating. <clears throat> Across the Arctic, lakes are leaking dangerous greenhouse gases, and one lake, at least, is behaving very strangely. Maybe it's just an anomaly. No shit. No, nope. maybe it's just an anomaly. Warning, warning. Or maybe it is something worse. No shit. So uh, what they're talking about is this lake up there. Uh, this video is viral where this entire lake uh, the, the methane uh, bubbling in this lake, where we're not talking, you know, some of these, these little bubbles rising to the surface. We are talking a full-scale boiling cauldron as the methane bomb uh, is in full explosion under this lake. Uh, never been seen before in this lake. Well, there might have been a few bubbles, and uh, I've been ranting about this all summer, about uh, as more and more underneath these thousands and thousands of lakes where the, you know, where the methane used to be uh, locked in. And you can bet your ass uh, that this is not an anomaly, but it is, the, it is a harbinger of something worse. This is no shit Sherlock. You will, you can expect to see more and more of this uh, methane bomb blowing off uh, up there in the Arctic. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the shithole city of St. Louis. EPA orders extensive cleanup of radioactive waste site near St. Louis. <clears throat> the West Lake landfill contains thousands of tons of radioactive material from the World War II era Manhattan Project that was dumped at the landfill in the 1970s. Uh, good luck on cleaning that up. Uh, the EPA ordering an extensive cleanup. They need to order an extensive cleanup of the EPA. Okay, this has been uh, in the story in the news pretty much ever since Donald Trump uh, got into office. It's just on steroids now as uh, Republicans rev up calls to rewrite, to rewrite the Endangered Species Act. 
There, there's nothing rewriting about it. It's it's erasing. It's obliterating. Uh, it's handing over the Endangered Species Act to uh, the uh, the planet eaters. And you know, it mentions in this story, as I mentioned before, that uh, one of the single biggest days of action attacking uh, probably the number one best environmental law in this country uh, the day after this judge uh, actually tried to enforce the Endangered Species Act by canceling that grizzly bear hunt. And uh, the, the morning after an absolute assault on uh, the Endangered Species Act. Okay. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this one too. Climate change is destroying our national parks at an alarming rate. Imagine Joshua Tree without Joshua Trees or Glacier National Park without glaciers. There you go. Uh, several stories on uh, this this coal ash leak there in uh, North Carolina. You know, of course, Duke Energy claiming that they have found no evidence uh, of any problem. But uh, I guess the Washington Post takes a little issue with what Duke Energy has to say about the situation in North Carolina. Dam breach sends toxic coal ash flowing into a major North Carolina river. Uh, fears about the situation at Duke's Sutton Power Plant near Wilmington have been growing since well before Hurricane Florence made landfall. And next to that story is North Carolina floods thrust Trump coal deregulation back into spotlight as the Trump administration has sought to relax rules on the way coal ash is stored. No shit! Sherlock. Okay, more and more uh, stories on Florence. I think we're about done with Florence. Let's wind up in Antarctica. At this rate, at this rate, Earth risks sea level rise of 20 to 30 feet, historical analysis shows. No shit. New research finds that a vast area of Antarctica retreated, otherwise known as melted, when Earth's temperatures were not much warmer than they are right now. And what they were talking about is they looked at what happened to the Antarctic ice sheets when uh, the Earth uh, hit this two degree target, which is, uh, you know, surpassed or whatever, you know, this bullshit Paris Climate Agreement, the study looking at, well, the last time we hit two degrees, what happened on the planet? Well, the seas rose 20 to 30 feet, but of course, we're not going to, we're, we're going to fly through that two degree target, and then what? We will find out on a planet near you. But let's go over there to Endangered Earth from Center for Biological Diversity where we actually have a couple of victories, to short-term victories, to uh, celebrate. Uh, you know, and of course the big one is this judge uh, canceling this grizzly bear hunt up there. Good for him. From grizzly bears to Pacific fishers. Thanks to another court victory won by the center and allies, Pacific 
fishers now have a better shot at Endangered Species Act protection. Uh, there you go. Anyway, and then of course, one of the main things that obviously they're talking about is Trump's attack on Endangered Species Act. I think I've already mentioned this one. Uh, scientists oppose Trump attack on Endangered Species Act. The Trump administration has proposed brutal changes to the Endangered Species Act, but hundreds of scientists and organizations, including the center, are fighting back. We have called on the Trump administration to withdraw its proposed rules, which ignore science, would strip protection from many species, and would speed up habitat destruction. No shit. Okay. Uh, here is a new interactive map so you can see what air pollution looks like in your city uh, if you're not able to uh, look out the window. All right. The center and allies have written a letter have written a letter to the feds demanding that they stop the import of dead rhino trophy. The center and allies have called on the Donald Trump administration to reconsider its action to let a Texas billionaire import a trophy, otherwise known as the remains of an endangered black rhino he shot in, in, Namib in Namibia. Black rhinos are protected under the Endangered Species Act, yet the Trump government is approving imports in an illicit pay-to-play scheme. Yes. Uh, quoting the Senator's Tanya Sonarib, the cruelty of trophy hunting simply does not comport with efforts to save Africa's imperiled wildlife. All right, we have an appeal that has finally been filed over a U.S. military base in Japan that would hurt dugongs, otherwise known as manatees, is what most of us call them. Uh, the center and allies, both American and in Japan, on Monday appealed a court ruling allowing construction of a new U.S. military base on the Japanese island that promises to destroy crucial habitat for the last remaining Okinawa dugongs, critically endangered relatives of the manatee. Quoting uh, the center's uh, Peter Galvin, <clears throat> this could be our last chance to save the dugong. The court should compel the U.S. military to follow the law and not wipe out these amazing creatures. The Trump administration cannot ignore the devastating harm of building a military base in these beautiful coastal waters. That was bullshit. All right, we have another endangered species condom giveaway <clears throat> written on one of the condoms. When you're feeling tender, Think about the hell bender. What is scarier than ghosts, ghouls, or zombies? 
extinction. Species are disappearing at an unprecedented rate, and one of the biggest drivers of the sixth mass extinction is our runaway population growth. With more than 7.6 billion people on the planet, our demands for land, water, and other resources are truly terrifying for wildlife. Hmm. Yes. So, we're now looking at ways how safe sex, safe sex, can save endangered species. Take how about no sex can save endangered species? Uh, anyway, surprisingly, we're going to wind up here with a surprising piece of good news, which I'm sure will last about a week. Judge Block's energy dominance policy on public land. We have a win for the West. A federal judge has blocked a Trump energy dominance policy slashing public and environmental review of oil and gas leasing on public lands. The injunction bans the Bureau of Land Management from using Trump's energy dominance policy on more than 67 million acres in 11 states. Lease sales were lease sales slated for December spanning hundreds of thousands of acres of sage grouse habitat must now face full public and environmental review, said the Senator's Taylor McKinnon. This is good news for public lands and the millions of people who love them. We shall see about that. But we'll take all the good news we can get about Trump's energy dominance. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up uh, today's ecological meltdown roundup rant and try to find the energy to get my weary old bones back to the back to the garden. I'm, I'm just spider blocking the barn door, but I'm making progress. My garden is reappearing, and I will bring you a progress report come sunset. Get out there in your weed patch while you still can. Bye, guys.